What's going on guys and girls, Stewie here, back again with another video, and finally I'm getting around to doing this. This is a busted song, Tier List. Uh, I made this myself, because there wasn't one out there. Um, this is all of Busted's songs from every single album, apart from their B-sides, their covers, all that kind of stuff. And today we're going to rank them in the tier list. Apologies, Bruno is in the room and he's chewing on his toy. So I apologise for his uh, chewing. I apologise, I apologise. Anyway, thank you so much for all the views lately. It's been great, loving it. Um, I'm getting the vibe that the new 2.0 songs are a very mixed bag of bunch when it comes to people's opinions. Uh, and that's fine. Um, uh, not a lot of people liked uh, meet you there. Um, I did personally. People seem it's overproduced. I don't. Ca I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. I think it's really, really good. I get some people's vibe of whether the song, the song, the meaning of the song wasn't portrayed uh, the way it felt with a ballad or the Abbey Road version ballad, the way it was punk pop pop punked up, whatever it is. Um, didn't the meaning behind the song didn't feel as emotional, which I get. But still, it's a banging song. I enjoyed it for what it was. So, that being said, thank you so much for the views, like I said. Um, thank you so much for my two vlogs, which there will be more on the way, of my busted tattoos. Yeah, I decided after getting the sketch faces and I had the pigs can fly pig for a while now, for three or four years, I thought, why not just do a busted leg? So, I got the... Um, Night Driver, Lips from the Deluxe Edition, and I've got the normal Busted logo, and I, know what the, I wanted that prominent, I want that looking big, so you knew what you were seeing and what the leg was about. I've got loads more ideas and different things over the years I've found that I'm going to get tattooed too, so there is more vlogs coming, don't worry about that. Um, I can't wait to get more tattoos, as much as it's very painful, it hurts. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. And yeah, if you want to have a quick look, So yeah, uh, lots more to come on the leg. It's it's going through the wars every couple of weeks. So the next one will probably next week. I'm getting tattooed next week on the Wednesday. So I'll probably get the vlog out for the weekend. So yeah, looking forward to that. Not so much a pain. Anyway, enough of me talking. Just like to say thank you for everything that everyone's done. Let's get into the tier list. Like I said, I've made this myself. There's no B-sides, you know, that kind of stuff covers they've done. It's just all their just their all their songs from every single album they've done. So uh, the untitled album, present for everyone, um, night driver and halfway there. Not including the ticket for everyone because it's just a live album. I don't really want to rank the live songs. I don't see the point of it really. But yeah, yeah. So let's get into the tier list. I haven't done one of these in a while. Last time I did one of these was Green Day albums. Um, but obviously you can't really do that with Busted because there's only three or four albums. Um, five, five including the, uh, the live album. So it would be a very short video. So let's rank the songs. Anyway, let's start off. We've got all of the entitled album here. Uh, the first one we're going to do is What I Go to School For. Oh, before I start, I forgot to tell you the categories I've got. We've got A, B, Mid. C, D. Um, a is one of a kind because it's the best of the best. It's one of a kind. B is easy because, you know, it's easy. Uh, mid is interlude. There's a little bit of a joke there. An interlude is the break of, like, if you watch a play, this, this is the interlude. This is the middle part. So it's mid, if that makes sense. C is why. Why this song? Why? And then D is you said no because we hate this song. So, um, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool, catchy ideas for categories. So, anyways, yes, let's get into it. What I go to school for. Um, huh, I do like it, and I'm ranking these on the recorded version um, that we're reviewing. Um, but the the live version they do now is so much better, but we can't do that. We're judging it on this. Um I think it's an alright song. Looking back, it's not. I, I don't particularly think it's 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 um it's aged very well. I still love it. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't. I don't really go out my way to play it much. 
Um, so I'm going to stick it into mid. Mid for sure. Um, it is what it is. I like the song. I just don't got me with it. Listen to it much. So it's just a very mid song to me. But if they call the 2.0 version uh, and it's the way they play it live, then I would put it at a higher rank. Um, next. You said no. I love you said no. Always have. Um, low always will. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be easy. It's easy. I'm going to stick in easy. It's a cracking tune. I am. Um, I do kind of prefer the Mick Busted way of the play it. Um, where after. The, before the last chorus. To just play the tune. As a, um, like an instrumental. Without the singing. But we're not reviewing that. Um, it's still easy. I love the song so much. Um, so yeah. Next one is Britney. Oh Britney, Britney, Britney. I do like Britney, unfortunately. People might give that a bit grief. People might say Britney's a very um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh cheesy song. People are not too fond of it, but I love it. I think it's great. So I'm gonna stick Britney in easy. Um under you said no, because you said those better. Uh losing you. Um oh. I'm not really fond of losing you. It's okay. I don't go listen to it at all. I always skip it. But I don't think it's that bad of a song. I wouldn't say it's category like I hate it a lot, if that makes sense. Um No, I'm gonna stick in this you said no. We need some bad songs. I can't be all positive about everything. I can't be like, oh I love this one. Oh, this one's okay, but it's not as that bad. Um we're saying you said no. I don't listen to it at all. Um, it's okay for what it is. Uh, yeah, 3,000. Jesus, that's just really hard. Um, yeah, 3,000. It's just their iconic song about them. I'm going to stick it in easy. Um, above Britney. Uh, yeah, I, st I love the 3,000. Me and my band play it all the time. It gets really good crowd response. Um, I just... In my head, it's because I, I get a bit sick of it. Listen to it, you hear it all the time. It's their main song you hear now, which is bizarre because it didn't reach number one. I always say that. Um, but it's okay for what it is. So we'll just put it easy. It's not my favourite. It's okay. Um, Psycho Girl. Uh, I love Psycho Girl. I think it's great. Um, not a lot of people give this one credit. Um, so I'm going to stick it in... Who? Easy. I do like Psycho Girl. I really do. Sticking easy. I don't want to put a lot in easy, but it's probably going to go over that way. I wouldn't see it now. Um, I want to stick it. Ooh. I want to stick it between. I'm going to stick it above Britney. I think it's better than Britney. People are going to kill me for that because Britney's a great song. <laughs> yeah, above Britney. God, that, that's going to kill some people's hearts. I apologize. Um, all the way. Mid. But higher than what I go to school for. I quite like All the Way. Although the meme behind the song's weird. Um, I do enjoy All the Way. Um, but it's it's just one of the ones that if it comes on I listen to it, but I'm not really into it. Um, not as much as other songs. But I want to stick it higher than what I go to school for. So it's a very mid song, it's in the middle. It's not bad, it's not, you know, great. It is what it is. Um, Sleep with the light on. Woo! Oh, baby. Um, Sleep with the light on is a one of a kind song. I love uh, Sleep with the light on. Um, as much as you said no. Oh, God. I put you said no on easy. Thinking of it, I like you said no more than Sleep with the light on. No, I'm put. Seeing with the light on. Ooh, this is. Ooh, my. This is what I'm saying. I love tier lists because you start thinking about. You're ranking each song together. Like, you know. And the things start going. You might know. Oh, I like this one more than this one. This is why these videos are great. Um, I'm going to put You Said No above. Seeing with the light on. But Seeing with the light one is in one of a kind. 
Cagri, great. You said no is better than it, though. I do listen to you said no a lot, and I love it a lot. So, yep, yeah, I've changed my mind. You said no has been moved because of sleeping the light on. Um, yeah, that's great. Dawson's Geek. Uh, I love when they play it live. I think it's great. Um, I want to put it in the bottom of Easy. I love Dawson's Geek, even though it's about Dawson's Creek, which I'd never watched the show, even though I heard about it a lot with my kids. Yeah, I want to sit at the bottom of Easy. I think it's great. When the day turns into night, damn. I don't listen to it much. It's okay. I'm going to stick the day turns into night in Y category. A lot of people will like that song, and I apologise, but I just don't listen to it much. Uh, very rare, I'll keep it on if it comes on in the car or whenever I'm listening to Busted. I want to stick in a Y category, it's okay. It's gonna look... <laughs> this is going <laughs> to break a lot of people's hearties. Everything I knew, um, uh, mid, I don't love it. Um, I did. I actually did not uh, like it much till they played it on the reunion tour, the Peace Can Fly tour, and I got a bit more of a love for it, but not like a huge love for it. So I'm sticking in mid, bottom of mid for now. Uh, without you, I don't listen to it at all much. Um, I'm going to stick it. This is hard. I don't know where to put it. I don't know where to put without you. I'm going to stick it in you said no i don't listen to it and i just had a recap on it there just to you know jog my memory a little bit because i was you know singing a little bit of it but i want to listen to it properly in it it's at the bottom it, at the moment it's the worst song on this list i'm sorry i just don't particularly like it i don't think it's very great interlude it's getting right at the bottom of there it's just a stupid little hidden song which is just pointless to me i don't know why um i'm not a big fan of um what was it called I know it's called Interlude, but what was it called? Exceedingly Something Fitness. I can't remember what it's called. I did a, a Busted Songs quiz. Uh, I, I did That's the song I missed out on that didn't get the full house. And yeah, if you want to go check that video, it's great. Um, that quiz. Very, very, very good. I've got a link, link if anyone wants to do that quiz. Um, but this is the song I couldn't get, and yeah, something exceeding something fitness, exceedingly something fitness. I can't remember what it's called, but it's at the bottom. And for that quiz, and make me feel that quiz, it's at the bottom for that reason as well. Um, Loser Kid, I'm gonna stick an A. I love Loser Kid. Um, I'll sit the yeah, I'll sit a third. I like Loser Kid. Um, I I always listen to it. I love 2.0. We're not reviewing them though. We'll probably will stick them to this tier list when they all out every single 2.0 songs out but for now i'm going to stick it in a where i think it deserves i love loser kid um but at the bottom of a at the bottom of a air hostess whoo god this one's a difficult one anyone hear that change in air hostess that they did on Ant and dex Saturday night takeaway i caught a glance when we threw them. i don't know why they did that maybe it was something to do with sensing mess my pants but mess my pants could be interpreted in a lot of ways it could be a gym from american pie style messing in the pants in the front area it could have been in the front area again but with the color if you dehydrated yellow god this is getting really bad or it could be at the rear end where it comes out yeah basically I shit myself don't know why you would shit yourself on on an airplane even though <laughs> a lot of people are scared of flying, that's fair. Stu, just getting away. <laughs> Air hostess. Um, hmm. I love the start, the bass start. I used to love it years ago. I'm gonna stick it in easy, but just under year three thousand. I think that's a good spot to have it. And that's the first song in present for everyone. I never mentioned that, so. Uh, yeah, Crash the Wedding, uh, it's okay, it sounds daft because it's not, I don't mean it in a, in a nasty way, but I prefer the ending, where it's just a abrupt, like abrupt chord at the end, like, <clears throat> I love that, I used to love it when I was a kid, 
Um, so crash the wedding. I will stick. Hmm. I'm gonna stick it. It sounds daft, but I'm gonna stick it next to Air Hostess. See next to Air Hostess. I don't think it's great. I, I like the song. Um. Under Air Hostess because I like that more. Uh, who's David? Uh, I'm saying A tier. I love Who's David when I think about it. Oh, do I? Do I? No, top top of easy, ab above Year Three Thousand. Um, I think it's a great song. There's gonna be a lot of easy guys. I apologise in advance. Um, yeah, top. Of, it's not quite the best. The best. Um. But it is what it is. I'll stick it in easy. She wants to be me. Oh, God. A tier. I used to adore this song when it first came out, when we were kids. When this album first came out, I want this song so much. I'm going to stick it in A tier. I've always thought it was a godlike song. People are going to hate this. 3AM is, is, is in the top of easy. Um, a lot of people love 3AM. And I'm not a lover of the song. I get why people like it. It's a great song. The production, everything about it, the Charlie, his vocals, um, people think it's the best song on Present for Everyone, which I I, ha I will agree the people's um, opinions on that, but I don't think it's godlike tier. It's, it's not a one of a kind for me. Um, I do tend to skip it sometimes. Sometimes, um, it's an easy. That's probably the biggest controversial one I've done so far. <laughs> I'm sorry. Falling for you. It's in the top. It's a one of a kind. In fact, it is at the top. It's better than you said no. Um, I thought a lot of songs would be an easy, the more than one of a kind. But you know, it's at the top. I love your form for you. When they play it live, it sounds phenomenal. Um, yeah, it's great. I love it. Uh, that thing you do is is one of a kind as well. I absolutely adore this song. I would stick. Um who I'll stick above loser kid. Um yeah, above loser kid. Um behind sleeping with the light on. I love that thing you do. Over now is um it's probably my favourite ballads of presents for everyone. I'm gonna stick it in easy. I'm gonna stick it above air hostess, believe it or not. So where over now goes under year 3000. Fake is A tier. I love fake. It is amazing song. I was obsessed with it. I love it more than Sleeping the Light on for sure. Probably not. You said no. Fake is there. Cracking song. I, I, I used to dance around my room playing guitar and uh, play along this, like pretend I could like play along to it. Um, and I used to be obsessed with it. It was great. Uh, so yeah, that's A for sure. Uh, meet you there. Um, if it was Abbey Road session, it'd be an A category. Um, oh, this one's really hard one. Because I, I don't particularly like this version now they did the Abbey Road version, which is not included in this list, by the way, because it's a B side. I don't listen to it. I listen to Abbey Road version. I'm going to stick it in mid. A uh, top of mid. We'll be generous. Top of mid. Um, it's a great song. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But the Abbey Road session with the piano is so much nicer. Why? A tier for sure. I reckon it's... It's a top of A tier. Top of Fallen For You. I listen to Why all the time. Great, great song. I believe it is Charlie's... Obviously, it's Charlie's song in the, on the album. But it was wrote with his brothers i believe or brother brothers and it's just so good so fucking good uh lona in love i'm not a big fan of lona in love um i always skip it uh so i'm gonna stick in the y but it's better than when the day turns the night i think what is it yeah stick in y better than this um I used to love it. Too late. 
Who listening now? I want you by me and show me what. Okay, yeah, I do love it. <laughs> I do love it. Um, I'm gonna stick it under year three thousand. So I'm gonna put it easy under year three thousand. Um, yeah, definitely. Can't be through. I never really listened to it much. I know it's the James Bond song, um, but I think it's an all right song. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I'm gonna stick it in mid. It's okay. Um, it's better than. Oh wow, I've done something so bad here. What I go to school for was a mid, but I want to put it second or first. Yeah, first, then meet you there, then can't break through, then all the way, then everything I knew. <laughs> oh, God, this is getting really hard. Nerdy. Um, nerdy, 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 nerdy. Mid. Uh, above, can't break through. It's okay. Um, I make Buster played it live when they first got, like, well, first formed. Not got back together because they never spoke because they never were a band together. Um, I like it more than Can't Break Through. Um, I don't listen to it that often, but I, sometimes I don't skip it. So it's behind Meet You There and Can't Break Through in mid interlude. Thunderbirds. So we've done present for everyone. So now we're going to Thunderbirds, which was a single in itself with 3AM, I believe. Uh, but it was put on the end of um, Ticket for Everyone. So Thunderbirds is A, and it's right at the top, right at the top. I've always adored this song. This was my favourite song until Halfway There came out, and I'll mention about that later. Um, for years, I adore this song. I still do this day. I think it's fantastic. I used to love the music video. They look like they're just, oh, just, I don't know, something about the music video used to warm to. It got record the year in 2004. Uh, I remember sitting in my dad's car when I didn't have the single and literally play radio stations till I found what found it on because it used to be on like busted songs back then we used to be on all the time radio stations I would find the station it was on play it listen to it all the way through and then I'll find the next radio station that would be playing the song as well I keep skipping the different radios till another station was playing it um that's how obsessed I was with the song then I bought it on a single I just used to just repeat it all the time so yeah, it's top of A tier by by far. Um, I absolutely adore that song. Adore it. Let's get a night driver. Um, coming home. Oh God. I love it live. Um, I think it's it sounds so the guitars are so more so much more sorry pronounced in the live production than they are in the actual track. When it first came out, I did not like it at all. Um, but it's warned me. Over the years, but I'm going to stick it mid. Um, I'm actually going to stick it second and mid. Because um, I don't think it's a fantastic song. I don't listen all the time. Um, but I don't think it's that bad. Oh, God. Some of these are really questionable now. Like, over now is above coming home. Ooh. Over now, you're going to have to come down, my friend. Um, I'll put you above nerdy. Better than this, put you above. Over now. I listen to say, oh god. When you put it in perspective, um, god, Psycho Girls above coming home, ooh. But I don't listen to them coming home much. I do here and there, it's fine, it is what it is. But it's definitely mid song. I'm gonna have to do some changes around here. Um, Night Driver itself is. Oh, God. I think coming home is better than it. I want to put it above over now. Uh, not uh, better than this, sorry. I don't listen to it much either. I love Night Drive, don't get me wrong, but... um, It's not... I don't know. The title track itself is not really... I don't want it much these days. Um, On What You Want, I'm, I'm sick of it. I, I think it's one... I know it was the, the lead single from the... Um, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of it, but I will put the top of why. Um, New York, absolute banger. Uh, a, a for sure, one of a kind. Um, put it above uh, fake. 
and behind you said no, that's for sure. Thinking of you is mid. No. Ooh. Yeah, put it mid. God, people are going to hate this because I love Night Drive. I think it's an underrated album. Um, mid. Um, behind Night Drive and better than this. Yeah. Without it. We've got without you. We've got without it this time is an A for sure. Um, I'm actually going to put it above You Said No. I think it's a cracking song. I think it's absolutely fantastic song. Um, it's one of my favourites um, on the album, for sure. Um, there's one more I like more. Um, one of a Kind is in B, which is easy. I'm going to put it... Um, behind Year 3000 and Air Hostess, I think. I love it. Well, I heard it live in the reunion too. It was great where James was playing the guitar. Um, I Will Break Your Heart is a very mid... No, it's not. It's Y song for me. Um, it's better than On What You're On. It's better than Lone and Love. I'm not a big fan of it at all. Um, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Kids with computers. <laughs> Everyone knows well I think of this song. Um, I really don't like it. I've never liked it. And it's hard to explain why. I just thought singing about kids on computers is a bit meh. I thought the vibe of the song itself was just very... I know, busted, I know Night Drive is not a busted album in the sense when you think of busted. It's a very synth pop album. Um, the very 80s style. But this one to me just stuck out from the rest of it just stuck out in a weird jar and way I didn't like it at all um, like I don't like the sound itself like when it says kids with the computer do, 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 do. I just don't like that bit I really don't but I will give it some credit I know it's my worst favourite song which I should have really put right at the bottom um, it's better than the Luke because Interlude's just a shit song um, I like it without you because without you I skip it all the time uh, losing you is better though. <laughs> oh, people are gonna hate me. People are gonna hate me. Sorry. Um, easy. Oh, a one of a kind behind. Why I love Easy. I think it's a cracking song. It's absolutely phenomenal song. Um, I always, always, always love it. Every time it comes on, I remember listening to this. The Night Driver album, and everyone was obviously shocked from the style it was in. Um, but this one stuck out like a sore thumb, and I was like, yes, this is a busted song. You could tell it's busted. And I got to hear it live at the reunion, um, Pigs Can Fly to us. So, um, yeah, it's in, it's in A. Uh, one of our Out of Our Minds. Uh, I'm going to put it at the bottom of why I really don't, I'm not really fond of it. Uh, but I'll give it some credit. It's not a no song for me, but I'm not really fond of it. Those Days Are Gone is at the bottom of mid. I don't listen to that either, even though they did a live studio version, like live, uh, in the same same time they recorded it easy. So it's it's bottom of mid. It's okay. I don't listen to it much. Oh, if Beautiful Mess was on here... That'll be straight number two. I think Beautiful Mess is the best song on Night Drive. Unfortunately, because I'm not jumping my knees, I can't have it on my Spotify or Apple Music. I have to go to Japan to buy the Japanese version of the album to listen to it. Or listen on YouTube. But who wants to listen to songs on YouTube, you know? The people just want to play it on an app on the phone. Next, we are on the last album, Halfway There. It's a very warm album to me because... It was the um, album that, you know, started this channel off and got a bit more traction than I used to do when I used to do random stupid gaming videos. Um, so, I love this album. Um, I do generally think it's the best busted album. A lot of people will not agree on that, but that is what it is. Um, 90s. I like 90s. It's easy, but it is under year 3000. Um, oops. 
and one of a kind. It's above one of a kind and below the year 3000. I used to love it. I loved it when it first came out. But I think it's dropped slightly, not much since then. Um, Reunion. Whoa. Reunion I did not like at first. I think everyone remembers my reaction to it because I thought Nightmares was so good. But I actually think it's one of the star tracks from the album now. Um, and I'm going to stick it... Uh, I want to stick it in A, I think. I'll stick it on above you said no and without it, if it lets me. There we go. I love reunion. Um, yeah. What happened to your bands? A. In fact, it's probably better than Fallen for You. Uh, under easy for me. I love what happened to your band. A lot of people like the Mick Busters version better. I don't. I like this version better. I know it's a bit weird because Charlie's in it, but I think Charlie's vocals are absolutely kill it in it. I think it's great. And the production on the album's really good. Shit Red Atlantis, straight number one. Everyone knows my favourite song. It's no secret by now. It is number one. It is beat in Thunderbirds after all their many years. I love Shit Red Atlantis. It's the perfect pop punk song in my eyes um i was on a little feature of something lately which will i'll announce soon when it's been released i try to plead with the hosts of the show that this is a fantastic song and unfortunately they did not like the lyrics so <laughs> um i tried but to me i don't care about the lyrics it, it's a fantastic song i think it's great hold the phone i'm sat here guys doing this video because the video you're watching was recorded two, three weeks ago, and I'm editing it now. And since then, this featured audio product show is out. And uh, yeah, it is a podcast. I was a guest on a busted podcast, a podcast for everyone it's called, um, pleading <laughs> that Shipwreck Atlantis was a very good song. Basically they rate all the busted songs and shows, everything they do. Um, talk about the song itself. Um, talk about what they like, what they don't like. And then give it a score at the end and put it in a big list. And I tried to play with the guys that Ship Out Atlantis was good. Um, they liked it, they just didn't like the lyrics. But if you want to go watch it, I'll leave a link in the description bar below. Podcast for everyone. Thanks to Carlisle and Richard for letting me be on. It was good fun. And yeah, let's get back in the video. Race to Mars is a new said no. I really don't like it over the years. Um, I kind of thought it was okay back then. Um, I put I put it I put the 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 start of you said no not at the bottom. Um, I just, back then I, I first listened to it, I thought it was all right it was it was okay. Um, but I, re I listened back. I really don't like it. I think it's a I don't know, it's just a weird song about Elon Musk. It's, it doesn't warm to me at all. Um, all my friends. Um, I'm going to put it in easy. And I'm going to put it just under 90s. I, I did not like this when it first came out. But it has grown me a lot. A bit like Reunion. Um, so I'm going to put it in easy. It was very... Um, I don't know, at first I wasn't too keen on it, but I like how each one of them tells a story. And I just, it grew me over the years and I heard it live. And I just, yeah, I love it ever since. Lots of these songs, you know, I used to like. And then they've dropped down over the years. A lot of these songs I didn't like, you know, I thought better over the years. M.I.A. Whoa. M.I.A. is an easy two. I want to say it's better than Who's David. And under 3 a.m. I love MIA. I think it's great. Same with radio. I can't. I can't. No, I'm not. I'm putting it in there. I'm going to put it. Do I like more than reunion? Yes. Do I like more than without it? Yes. Do I like it more than falling for you? No. Go watch the Rai reaction to this song when I first listened to it. Um, I generally thought the song was going to end and all of a sudden Charlie just starts singing the way it should. 
the way it should. Gotta hold on, gotta hold on, yeah. And then this epic guitar solo comes in from James Bourne that just instantly shocked me. And then hearing it live brought a tear to my eye. Just for that guitar solo alone. I'm not saying the, the song's bad at all, because I love the song. That's why it's an A. But for the guitar solo alone, it, I was thinking of easy category, B. But I brought up the A because it was just so, so good. So it's an A. Um, nostalgia. Ooh. Everyone loves this song. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put an easy. But I'll put it above MIA. Um, because I like it more than MIA. Um, but I don't... People probably think it's probably one of the best songs of the album, which it, in there, I can agree to. But for me personally, it's just slightly down. Just slightly, slightly. Very, 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 very smallly. Um, it's just under 3M for me, so it's an easy. And the last song... It Happens. Which... Is a banging song. Um, the story behind it's great, and the fact when the song keeps you know going from verse to verse to each person and busted, finish off with Charlie about singing enemy and uh, glass and Breen, all that stuff. The the song progressively gets progressively gets louder and more emotional feel. And that, to me, is just, it's gold in the song. But, that being said, I do not think it is a, I think it's still easy, but I'm going to give it above 3 a.m. Um, yeah. Ooh, that was hard. Now it's time to make some adjustments. Uh, I would love you all guys to comment below in this video and let me know how I did, how bad I did any adjustments you would do I tell you what you can do i'll put a link to this tier list in my description below please do it please take a screenshot of it and please tweet me it i will judge them from there um so i'm gonna change oh this is really hard i think there's a little too many in a just because uh, well it's busted i love busted Fake has to be in there. That thing you do. Maybe she wants to be me. Needs to be moved down one. Yeah. She wants to be moved down to easy. And lose a kid down to easy. Because it's not. I can't class lose a kid as, as good as. Why for instance. Or what happened to your band. Because it isn't. But it's a great song. Maybe bring Britney in. Dawson's Geek needs to come down to mid. Definitely. Um, but Common Horn's better than Dawson's Geek now so <laughs> yeah yeah let's do that let's do that is there any more changes I want to make you said no you said no Sleep the Light on's only two songs in A um, everything I knew in mid yeah all the way can't pick through. Nerdy. Over now. Better than this. Thinking of you. Night driver. Meet you there. Um, yeah. I, I agree on this. I agree on this. Um, actually. I'll move all my friends to behind one of a kind. I kind of like one of a kind more than that. Uh, Air hostess crashed away in sight. Oh girl. Brittany. Yeah. I'm going to stick with it. I don't want to make any more decisions. This is the final, um, the final, yeah, the, the final result. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your changes would be. Please do the tier list. Send me a screenshot on Twitter. Uh, the link description bar below for my Twitter too. And for the link for this tier list. And enjoy guys. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed this. It's really, really good fun. I enjoyed making it too. I am going to edit it in the future. We are going to add the B-sides and all the busted 2.0 songs when they're all released. So we can do it again, for sure, without a doubt. And then look back and reflect, compare to what this one was with the new one. See how, what differences 
over the time and you know thinking about things uh come up all the differences that being said that's it guys thank you so much for watching it's been fantastic loved it thank you for all for all the views likes and everything you do it's been absolute blast um i need to do the buster video and i think i'm running out of ideas now, so i don't know what else to do so please hit me up and let me know any other ideas i could do involving busted because it's just the craze and hype at the moment let's be real um they'll probably be a new song out by them soon there's gonna be another vlog by me out soon um but yeah that's it guys thanks for watching as always comment subscribe follow me on instagram twitter twitch snapchat all that good stuff everything's in the description bar below or click the link tree if it's easier and yeah that's it as always peace